Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing and demonstrating how to use this new product I found called Tactoplast. Now what it is, is it's a multiple plastic that hardens, and it also comes in unique colors that also glow in the dark. It comes in a nice little tin, and I ordered the glow in the dark green color. Now it starts off as this hard little puck. It's already hardened from the factory. But in order to get this moldable, you have to put it in some warm to hot water. Then it becomes the consistency of Play-Doh. Now the neat thing is you can use this for anything that your mind can imagine. You can put it on your EDC gear, your knives, your flashlights, anything really. I like to play with it just because it's really neat. But let me go ahead and show you how it glows in the dark. Let me cut off the lights here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use my O light here and basically charge it up. Now, it doesn't take a lot of light to keep this sucker going. Check that out. This stuff is amazing. The cool thing is, like I said, you can mold this into anything that you can think of. A lot of guys I've seen like to use this for accents on their gear. I actually am going to demonstrate that for you a little later. Let me go ahead and turn the lights back on. Okay. When we return... I'll be showing you how to work with Tactoplast and how to mold it and set it. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you how to work with the Tactoplast. So what you need is a bowl of some hot water, a spoon, and a piece of Tactoplast. Now, this is one that I've been playing with already, but it's all the same. You just place it on the spoon. Make sure the spoon's wet before you put it on there so it doesn't stick. It may stick a little after when you bring it out, but that's okay. You just scrape it off. Now I'm just going to let it sit in here for a little bit so it can soften up. Like I said, it gets to the consistency of Play-Doh. Now what I've seen people do is they dress up their EDC gear... And I've seen them put it on flashlights and knives. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to use this Spyderco knife. And people usually put it in the grooves and within the body. So I'm going to put, I'm going to demonstrate that. Not in this hole, but in this hole. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to work with this stuff. The good thing is... If you should mess up, it is completely reusable. Meaning, once it's hard in here, if you wanted to take it out, all you got to do is heat it up and just push it out. It gets soft like Play-Doh again. And you can do it over and over and over until you're happy with the results. So the Tactoplast should be softened up right now. Depending on how hot your water is, be careful the tactoplast is going to be a little bit hot. So it's stuck a little, but like I said, it's able to come off fairly easily. So we only need to borrow a little bit of this tactoplast. So, well, let me demonstrate to you how soft it is. Look, at, it's really soft. But we only need a little bit. So what I'm going to do is take this little piece, roll it into like a little cylinder. Try to measure it out here. Okay, so that's a little too much. So what I'm going to do is just push it in there and kind of make it like a, like a rivet. So I'm going to put it in here, so it's in the center, see that? 
Now I'm just going to push and pull. See, so I'm removing the excess as I go and just pressing it in there. Removing the excess. Always keep your, your excess. You don't want to throw any of this stuff away. But if you did, it's biodegradable. I just like to get as much use of out of it as I can. So I'm just making sure that it's nice and even here. But like I said, if you mess up, just do it again. Take your time. Can't go wrong with this stuff. It does take a little bit of time to get the fill for it. But just think of it as like a toy, like Play-Doh. So what I'm going to do, since we don't have all time for a lot of time for this to cool down, I don't want to make you guys wait. I am just going to put this into the freezer to flash harden it. And show you guys the final end result. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in the freezer after I get it to the desired appearance and I'm going to show you what it looks like when we return. Alright guys, so I flash froze it and now it's solid. It actually spins a little when I grab onto it, but no, it's uh, it's solid and it's in there. It's staying. I could actually grip it. And it looks nice. Let me show you what it looks like after exposing it to light. Now let me turn off the lights here. So I got some in the bowl that I'm going to work with, but check that out. Don't think I'll lose my knife in the night time. Well, yep, you can fill any gaps or crevices or holes with this on your flashlights, knives, or whatever else you could think of. It's really awesome stuff here. Check that out. It's really forgiving stuff. And you could reshape it. Let's say I get tired of this color. I can soften it up by heating it up. Pop it out of there. And add another color. Tactoplast makes a bunch of other colors. They um, have an orange glow in the dark. Uh, they have an aqua blue glow in the dark. They have this one obviously. And they're going to be releasing some new colors. Their website is tactoplast.com. I'll have a link in my um, description here. But uh, I really recommend this product. It's a freaking awesome product and it's just fun to play with. Especially in the dark. All you got to do is shine some light on it. And you're good to go. Look at that. Awesome. Kind of looks like kryptonite. It's really sweet look after. Thank you.